from William. Auntie! And that scream was a fear. I don't know if it was the mother instinct in me. I said some things that I don't think intruders wanted to hear. And I told them I was upstairs, come on. And they turned around and left. Wow. Well, Kenya, you posted, happy no one was hurt, but she took the time to withhold information from the cast that could possibly help keep us safe, but was happy to release details in interviews. Hashtag fake. What, what, wow. what do you think she should have done or what were you referring to? So, again, I'm going to say this because that's really scary. It's a lot of details there that we didn't know about. And obviously, we want the boys and Marlo to be safe. We are, you know, we're a team here. We're a part of the same platform. And when Marlo had shared the information with us via text, my first response was, oh, my God, you know, we're, we're horrified that this happened. You're but all it, on a group text chain. We're on a group text. Okay. But Candy had already had the scare during the season. Right. Marlo had just had a scare, and then shortly thereafter, Drew had a scare. So my response was, can we all jump on a conference call so we can discuss, you know, amongst each other, maybe learn more things about what happened? How do we keep each other safe? Okay. And that was my main concern. Did you all feel that Marlo withheld information? She, no, she critical. actually came to my house, uh, her okay. and the boys, uh, two days later, and she she told me everything. The officers asked me not to share the details, but I still, the third day, I said, I'm going to share with them. I want to talk about your decision uh, to send Michael and William away for a month because we got a lot of viewer feedback. It was really negative. I respect that you were possibly protecting them and you from yourself and bad impulses that you might it's have. It's about them. You know what, Andy? I think when I said I kicked them out, okay. I think that's what was awful. Me and the way I say things and deliver the message. What I wanted to say is I needed a reset button. Andy, I'm used to just being fabulous. Monty, you call me, you get spoiled, you get pizza if you need me to I send know, but it. that doesn't and work. It, I know it doesn't yeah. work. It doesn't. Okay. And it doesn't work if they stay there and if I beat them or if I freak out like my you mom. Were worried. So I was worried, like, you need to get yourself under control because you don't have control of your house. I went in here thinking, oh, I got this right away. I, and I needed to just reset. But on the other hand, hearing your backstory mm -hmm. and hearing the hurt, and it really moves me hearing about what you went through. I mean, it, it's really, really moving more so now as a parent just to even think about. Right. It doesn't land to me that then you could be doing to the boys what you went through, which I know would be the last thing that you would want them to feel that they're not wanted. As we were listening to your story earlier and you were telling us about the last home that you went to through foster they did care something that was wrong. so beautiful and you had so much fun and you really loved it and you thought that was your place. And then she told you you had to go and that's when you really started you felt like you started acting out because of that. That's even more a reason why I feel like you wouldn't have sent them away because you really made your home their place. You gave them the beautiful room. You take them to wonderful places. You take them out to eat. You put them in the best schools, tutors. You're giving them everything that you wanted to have. Absolutely. And so it just seemed like it's just shocking. I feel candy, uh, a lot of people feel that way. And I feel that when you go to a foster home, they take classes, how to be a parent, how to talk to the child, if they came from being sexually abused, if they came from being beat. It's foster parents take classes for that. I didn't take a class. I came from abuse, from the streets, from just figuring this out on my own. And I needed the break. I did. I needed to reset. I went and got a therapist. I have a life coach. I have to be the best I can be for Michael and William. Now, guess what? I talked to Michael and William. How do you feel? Do you understand why I said that? I wasn't doing that at first. LJ from Florida wants to know, why is it okay, Marlo, to spoil the foster girls, but your nephews have to be continually humble? My foster girls, I don't see them as much as I see the boys. And I, want, I teach my foster girls to be humble as well. But when I'm with them on occasions, and when I do see them for prom or Christmas, I just want them to know the world is theirs. How is your sister doing now? Oh, we haven't heard from her. You have not heard from her. It was really moving and so sad seeing you and the boys making that call 
I have to say, I really admired. You said, we're going to sit here and cry. We're going to have this moment, and then we're going to all kind of figure out how to move figure forward. Out. And I actually thought that was kind of a brilliant technique. I always tell them, you got 15 minutes to cry, and then you got to go out. My says, you got to go figure this shit out. Got to keep moving. Who taught you that? Me. Can I have a tissue, please? Yes. Thank you. Thank Are you, you moved and you want to wipe a tear? Mm. No, my nose is cold. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing You're welcome. all Thank that. You I mean, me open up. It's called well, I do evil. think hearing about your it's backstory, hearing about your backstory, at least makes I think a lot of people understand. Hurt people hurt people. Well, like I think Kenya that's true. Both are hurt. Our family history is so much alike. That's why she cannot ever uplift me or give me something positive. Oh, stop. She's oh, always stop gotta put lie. me down. But I love it. Like I'm, a, I'm used stop to it. You know, you get with used the to fake abuse. stories and the so fake news. It. Stop. You want me to move on, Kenya? It's hurt. I really would love it. Yes. I'm gonna do it. Thank yes. you yes. so much.